Hey, this is Brooke Drum from PrinterBot, and we have just unboxed the PrinterBot Simple. This is the metal simple here, six by six by six. Um, at this point, you have the software installed, all right? So we're gonna pick up after the software is already installed. Now I'm gonna plug this in and get it connected, and it's gonna take a few minutes to heat up. We recommend the first time you use it, you heat this thing up 10 minutes, so we're gonna cut the video in a second. I've already plugged in, I've already plugged in this firmly. I can see the light is blue. We know it works. This is a 12 volt power supply. Okay, so I know my power supply works even before I turn it on. So now, right on this side, if I'm looking at the bottom, it's my right side, there's a power connector. Again, 12 volts is not gonna hurt anybody even if I touch it, you know, don't lick it, but if you just uh, touch this, you're fine. It's not AC, it's DC, which is like what batteries are. Boom, I plug that in. And how do I know it's on? Well, if I look under here, you see a green light on the, the board here. That means it's on. Now notice, I haven't plugged in the USB yet. A small amount of power comes through this USB cable. Don't be fooled. You have to have your power supply plugged in before you actually have power and can run the bot. It won't run off of the small, little bit of power that comes through the USB. So the little bitty plug, uh, the way this is configured, the longer, flatter part of the plug is on the bottom. Um, the rounded part is on the top. And right on this, right here, right to the left of the power, really gently plug that sucker in. And then this will go into the USB of your computer. Now we're ready for the computer. Here's the important point. Some computers, you have to choose the port that you're connected to. So we want you to make sure that it may have another default besides the port you need to use. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I have my software open and I'm gonna go down and select, in my case on the Mac, it's, uh, it ends in one, two, three, four, one. And then I'm gonna click connect. And guess what? It says it's, it's ready to roll. So I'm plugged in. This is the first time I'm going to move this. Very important. Let's just do one thing at a time. I'm going to home X. X is going this way. Watch what happens. Home for X is when this nozzle is on the left of the board. Did it successfully. I'm going to home Y. Now, I would move to Z, but you notice I've only done X and Y homing. Y is at the back. The reason I don't want to do Z yet is because this hot end, when things, when metal heats up, it'll actually expand. It's kind of a microscopic level, but it's going to expand slightly. So I need to be very careful. When I get that hot end down to the bed, if I don't have a certain setting that you're about to learn about um, correct, I could scrape my board here. Okay, when I go to print something. I don't want that to happen. So we're gonna take a pause here, let this thing heat up, and I'm gonna teach you a little bit more about moving around um, in Z and making sure that you're all calibrated and ready to print. One important uh, thing too, if you happen to be already calibrated and down here you were testing something and your, your nozzle's very close to the bed, please, before you move your bed or your nozzle around X or Y, bring it up 10 millimeters on Z. So like right now, I'm not scared to move up on Z. That's one way I could test to make sure X, Y, and Z are moving correctly before heating it up. But before you do calibration, or if any time you're down close to the bed, I can't emphasize it enough, move your nozzle up, then move it around so you don't scratch anything, okay? We'll let this warm up and be right back. 